Okay, this is just a short uh, tutorial on how to test a Victor CA2460 torch and then I've got a, a 315 handle. Uh, keep in mind we're going to be using flame to do this test and uh, so you should make sure you've got flashback arresters on your regulators. Um, keep in mind if you've got low bottles you want to not ever push oxygen back into your acetylene bottle so make sure you've got uh, check valves at work as well. This torch does not have arresters, but it does have check valves. Well, we can tell that this torch has burned back in because it's discolored on the bottom too. So the first thing we're going to do is test the handle because uh, a lot of times we get torches in here, people think that the torch is bad, but in reality it's just the handle that is bad. So to test the handle, you make sure both valves are off. Um, turn on your acetylene. Um, dip it in water, make sure that there's nothing leaking there, and then turn on the oxygen and do the same thing. Um, so we can see there's no bubbles, so that valve and that valve are both holding. Now it doesn't mean everything is still good with this torch handle. There's a tube that goes down the center that carries the oxygen and then the, the, around the outside edge carries the acetylene. There can be a leak right here where that tube attaches and right there where that tube attaches and if that happens so it's carrying oxygen this gets turned on when it's hooked onto the cutting attachment it flows down through here down the center and then it has another valve in the cutting attachment and that shuts your oxygen off but on the acetylene side there is no other valve after it leaves this valve there is no other valve it goes straight from there to the end of the torch to the torch tip so if you have this valve here is is holding fine you open that valve up you've got your cutting attachment on there and there's a leak on that inner tube either in there or in there then the gas the oxygen will flow from the oxygen side jump over to the acetylene side and then flow out the end of the torch that makes it really difficult to tell what is leaking on your torch if you got a leak that you can't figure out a lot of the time it's in this handle sometimes you can have a crack in your cone end right there and that will allow it to jump from one side to the other or where this cone end screws into the body of the torch it can leak between those two sides there too so keep in mind that it's not always just this valve or this valve it can be an, a problem in the handle or in here also pause so another spot that can happen is we'll get, get torches in here all the time one of these o-rings is missing they swear that one of these valves isn't shutting off, but really all it's doing is transferring oxygen from the oxygen side straight over the acetylene side out the end of the torch. It's really just as simple as one of these O-rings. Now pause. Okay, so what we have going on here is this is a, a loose torch tip um, or, or a cracked nut or a bad seat. Something is going on in that area there. So if you got a torch tip that's doing that or, you know, so that's what it is. Now we're going to test um, this torch. Um, it's still popping back in. It's got an old tip in it, but we know this thing's got a, this is a bad torch. So I, I chose this torch because I know it's going to fail. Um, at any rate, when you put the fire out, it's going to burn back in. When it burns back in, you can hear it burning. It's burning in there. Figures. That noise there, it's burning back in and getting really hot right here really fast. So it is really hot in there. Um, there's an O-ring on the mixer. I'll show you that in just a second. But that O-ring is either trashed or almost trashed. If it gets hot, like this one's been so hot, there's a chance that the mixer's completely melted out of it. Um, of course, you want to take and test this torch in the water after you've shut the valves off. That makes sure that uh, there's no leaks. You can see there is a leak here. It's either coming from here, probably, or there. But remember, I told you there's another spot that can leak. Um, you can tighten this valve up, tighten it up a quarter of a turn, and smack it with a hammer. And then you're pretty sure that that one's sealing. This valve here, you'll take that apart and look and see. It's not this valve, more than likely, because it's a very small leak. Um, uh, you want to put your finger over the tip. Uh, dunk the whole thing under water, make sure you don't have a leak here or here. You want to check and make sure that there's no leaks here. Also, you want to make sure you have no external leaks here by 
putting this all under water, make sure you don't have any leaks. That's about it for the basic testing. Uh, you can run into problems. You need a special tool to test and make sure this center of this handle is uh, is working right. Uh, and if it's if you don't know for sure, then it can make the the diagnosis of the rest of it a little challenging. So um, there was something else. Pause it. This is the mixer out of a 2460 uh, cutting torch. That's the O-ring I was talking about. When that O-ring gets burned. Uh, the fuel, the way this thing works is the fuel comes, if I remember right, this is off of memory, but the fuel comes down the outside, the oxygen goes down the inside, they're held apart by an o-ring here, so there's no possibility of it burning before here because there's no mixed fuel, and uh, fuel won't burn in the absence of oxygen. The, uh, the fuel goes in that orifice there. The oxygen's coming down the middle, they get mixed in through here and come out the end. This is the first place that, that it can burn if everything is working correctly in your mixer. Uh, some of your, like your Uniweld 780A and uh, Victor 1350s and 1250s, the small ones, they do not have that O-ring. They have got a bevel on the end. That bevel sits against the head of the torch. If, uh, if the mixer is burned up on the inside or that bevel is messed up allowing gas fuel to come down the middle and back out the outside and mix back in here, they'll burn back in too. Very difficult to make the Uniwelds and the smaller Victors seat after they've done that. Uh, usually requires a new mixer. And I believe that's everything. I'll add to this if I think of anything else.